No, you're not being deceived this time at least. The title is true. You can literally recruit skill 6 generals in Hearts of Iron 4. Now, skill 6 general is something really, really good. It, I mean, everyone knows that. I don't have to explain that. I'm 99% sure that there is not a single skill 6 general or field marshal at the start of the game. There are some skill 5 ones like Eisenhower, Patton, Bradley. For example, not even MacArthur is skill 5, he's just skill 4. For the UK, that's Aushin, Lex, Slim, Alexander. There are also Brook, so not even Montgomery, he's just skill 4. Japan only has Tomoyuki Yamashita, skill 5. While the Soviets have Zhukov and Konev. And let's not forget the man, the myth, the legend. None other than Mannerheim himself. He's also skill 5 at the start of the game, but still nobody is skill 6. And when you recruit somebody, they're most of the time going to be just skill 1, skill 2, at the best skill 3. But you can make them skill 6 at the start. So this is how. You have to play as Poland for this one. Now you might have noticed that there's like 10 focuses in the entire game which have this uh, bonus. Starting level of new army leaders plus 1. The Polish focus new military academy that you can do after prepare for the next war focus actually has starting level of new army leaders plus 1 buff. Which means that you're no longer gonna have skill 1 generals when you recruit them, but actually skill 2. That's not bad. That's not great either. However, if you go monarchist, and if you go for the Habsburg path, the soldier king, not the soldier, but the soldier, Anyway, going for the Soldier King focus after that, the King's Guard, and then Royal Officer Corps. This focus has starting level of new army leaders plus 2. 2 plus 1 is obviously 3, plus 1 at the start. That means that every single new general that you recruit is going to be a skill 4 general. At the beginning you only have 2 skill 4 generals and also 1 field marshal. Keep in mind, Germany doesn't have a single skill 5 general or field marshal, so you're basically having the best of the best. But you can have even better. I'll prove this to you, I'm gonna wait manually until I get the Habsburg event, because I forgot the event ID. Alright, here we are, the Habsburg candidate. Habsburg Poland is born. I'm just going to focus out to complete these focuses, and here we are, I finished Royal Officer course. Let's now finish New Military Academy, and check this out. When I go to show field commanders, this guy is Maximilian Wisniewski. I don't have enough command power, but let's get some food command, and here we are, I just promoted him, and look at this. Vishnevsky, he's skill 4 general, but you can get another 2 skills. However, to do that, it's not really impossible, but it's really, really inconvenient. You basically have to become democratic. Now, once you got this Marcus path, you can't go democratic through any conventional way that I'm aware of. The second option would be to do some goofy things, and that way to lose non-aligned support and get democratic support. You can do that, you can get over 60% democratic support, but... You can't get the referendum for some reason, I have no idea why. So the only way you can really go democratic as this Poland is if you get puppeted by like the UK or France. Or maybe even Czechoslovakia, maybe that would work as well, then you can just go free and, you know, defeat them. Anyway, if you would go democratic, let's say that I magically go democratic, here I am, I'm still Kingdom of Poland, but I'm democratic, that's the funny part. Interesting, even if I go communist, I'm a Kingdom of Poland. So, if I would go democratic, what I could simply do, if I, of course, had most of the back DLC, go to the Spirit of the Academy, and I can do best of the best. Starting level of new army leaders, plus two. With previous plus two, and also plus one, that means plus five. Which means, when I go here and find a random guy, Jan Novak. Oh my god. A Polish person with name and surname, which you can actually read. Let's promote him. Look at this. He's a skill six general. Of course, he has skill seven. Logistics, that's really bad, but come on, let's throw a dice once again. I love gambling, I love gambling. Guys, I want to make a video, please be good. This guy has skill 8 defense. <laughs> okay, finally, we got Gzegors, <laughs> who has 5 attack, 7 defense, 4 logistics, and 4 planning. The thing I like about this is that it's not extremely expensive or, you know, Possible, but really really impossible at the same time. You get what I mean. It's hard to go democratic But if you do then you can just recruit like as many generals as you want. They only cost 50 command power That's a couple of months waiting in game. So yeah, that's how you can have skill 6 generals pretty much out of the oven in Hearts of Iron 4